Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. Let's continue with the list of the best arguments I've heard for atheism. This week, argument 8, the argument of non-cognitivism. Basically, this argument says that no statement of God's existence can be made because the word God is just a term used to represent a concept. Now, just why this proves that God doesn't exist is a subject of some division among atheists. Some claim that it proves that God doesn't exist because if the believer doesn't understand God, how can they make statements about him? However, this doesn't prove anything. Even if I don't know specifically that objects attract every other object with a force proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the distance between them, that doesn't mean I can't make statements like, without gravity we'd all float off into space. You can know things and make true statements about them without understanding them completely. The other way this argument is often taken, and the slightly stronger way, is simply that the term God denotes a metaphysical entity, a meaningless concept which can't possibly have any meaning because it can't be tested for. The problem with this view is, it's basically scientism in a different mask. You're just saying in the end that if you can't verify something through testing, you shouldn't believe it. Well, what about that claim? Can you verify that claim through testing? No? Well, that's that. Metaphysical entities can be verified if we can deduce their existence through logical proofs. Only someone believing in a variation on scientism would claim otherwise. Of course, this method of atheistic thinking, namely logical positivism, is actually a very recent invention, pretty much coming into being in the early 20th century, and it has many more problems than just the fact that it contradicts itself. For example, it cites the fields of science, experience, and mathematics as legitimate and necessary proofs for certain knowledge, but doesn't acknowledge the proofs of deductive or inductive logic. This is a problem because neither science, experience, or mathematics prove anything without logic to back them up. If you don't form any logical conclusions, how can you be sure that the scientific method is the right one to use? How can you trust that your experiences tell you about anything going on outside of yourself and not just something in your head? How can you be sure that mathematical computations are universally correct and not just correct for me or you? You need deductive and inductive reasoning to really prove any of these things, so not only are unchartable and untestable truths real and knowable, but the method used to reach those truths, namely logical reasoning, is actually the basis for all other proofs, and therefore all true knowledge. I've heard lots of atheists deny that there's anything beyond mere physical reality as a premise, but none of them have ever been able to prove it. You can't really make a claim like this without attacking logic, and you can't make that attack with any honesty unless you're willing to cut yourself off from all other knowledge as well. If that's really something you want to do to yourself, well... You need to at least be honest about it, and just admit that because in your worldview it's not possible for people to know anything, therefore you don't know anything. And if you don't know anything, there's no point in trying to spread that non-existent knowledge. Either way, this argument may be phrased well enough to convince a few folks, but it's still much too weak to challenge our proofs for logic, knowledge, or the existence of God. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.